All right, so we got the biggest game releases of 2023. Let's get right to the video. Uh, 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 Due to a uh. variety of factors like new video game consoles and your run-of-the-mill global pandemic, a whole lot of games got delayed in 2022. Hey, that kind of sucked in 2022. I'm waiting for that Star Wars game, bro. It's going to be absolutely bonkers in terms of video game releases. Here are a whole bunch of the games that we know are coming out in 2023. Hey, bro, and that and Warhammer. All of them. Let's I can't wait till that comes out either, bro. The Fire Emblem Engage on Switch. This is the follow-up to Three Houses. And this time around, you'll be able to summon or engage characters from the series past, including OG protagonist and Smash staple Marth. You can put yes, a ring sir. on it January 20th, so save the date. So let me get this straight. The team behind Final Fantasy 15 developed a new RPG that's not what I would call a Final Fantasy game. It's a freaking PS5 console exclusive that's also coming to PC. And oh yeah, really? I'm talking about Forspoken. Nah, yeah. That's hard. That okay. looks nice. That is a game that's out this month. It was supposed to be out in May and then in October, and it might actually come out. Have I reacted 24th, to this trailer before? So, uh, I don't out. know. If the Callisto Protocol didn't satisfy Callisto your need Protocol, for what a beautiful survival game, bro. horror in which combat tips are I like it. written on the wall in blood, well, you can relive the original Dead Space with Dead Space Remake. The entire game Dead has been recreated Space, yes, painstakingly sir. in the Frostbite engine, and it shakes things up a bit with a disgusting new system, which is called Peeling, that apparently lets you mutilate those necromorphs down to the individual bones and tendons. That's horrible. Yeah. It's also on new gen and PC on the 27th. On February 10th, it's back to school season in the Wizarding World and Hogwarts Legacy lets you live out the ultimate fantasy really? of attending Harry Potter's alma mater. Just imagine okay. the thrill of paying out the ass for textbooks that try to bite you the least <laughs> wheelchair accessible stairs in the history of schools. I think Your I'm covering the date as well. This comes out February 10th, by, by the guidance way. Counselor who is a talking hat. But hey, at least you can reroll if it puts you in Hufflepuff. If you wish Monster Hunter was a little more like Fortnite, keep an eye out for Wild Hearts. Yet another fantastical mm. world for you to explore. This one is inspired by Feudal Japan. Imagine that. It's developed by Omega Force, the studio this looks pretty sick. the Dynasty Warrior series and its myriad Musou spinoffs. And if the fact that EA is publishing worries you, bear in mind that Activision published Sekiro. <laughs> Will you heart Wild Hearts? See for yourself when it's out in the wild on February 17th. If you're not totally sick of hearts after eating a box of Valentine's candy while playing Wild Hearts, on the 21st, I, Atomic Heart I can feel, get your blood I feel pumping. All right this with is a single-player first-person shooter with a Soviet aesthetic that looks a bit like Fallout's paleo-futurism, but from the so other side of the Iron It's so weird to me. Like, I don't However, understand. However, combat and weirdness levels seem more yeah, like, like I don't. <laughs> If you're looking for something to pass the time until Ken Levine's Judas, this might be worth checking out, and it's on everything but Switch. On February 22nd, Sony is for all intents and purposes launching a brand new console with the PlayStation VR 2, which will have a pile of launch VR titles two. to go with it. And at the summit of this molehill really? of a day one releases, you'll find the Horizon spin-off Call of the Mountain, which promises to be a full-length VR game. Maybe not as long as the flagship Horizon games, but definitely more meaty than your average virtual reality experience. Mm. That's exclusively I've on never PS had VR, a VR which is before. exclusively on PS5. The name Company okay. of Heroes might suggest a sandwich chain like Subway or Quiznos, but rest assured, Company of Heroes 3 is still a World War II RTS. In addition okay. to two unique campaigns in Northern Africa and Italy, this one also adds new gameplay features like a dynamic campaign map and a tactical pause, which sounds great for when the real-time combat gets a little too real. That comes to hmm. PC on February 23rd. Sons okay. of the Forest is the direct descendant of the hit Woodland Survival game with a heavy emphasis on survival. While a lot of mm. us would prefer to be stuck on a proverbial desert island with a steam deck or an attractive celebrity, this one will see you foraging for supplies and braving the elements while also fending off a horrible cave system full of terrifying mutant cannibals. Sounds oh my lovely. god, that's what is that? Decent. If that's too scary and you'd rather repeatedly kill some adorable astronauts... Hey, a lot of games are released in February. That's crazy. All right. Kerbal Space Program 2 lets you do Sorry. that and lots more. That hits early access on PC on February 24th, but the developers promise custom bases, multiplayer, mod support, and, of course, console versions down the road. If you yearn for the simpler days of classic turn-based RPGs I think I with beautiful no, I didn't. pixel art no, and Dickensian campaigns, I was, I think I read or if you just the 2018 game Octopath Traveler was pretty cool, well, you're in luck because Octopath Traveler hits PC, Switch, and both PlayStations also on February 24th. On March 1st, the day before hits PC, and before your eyes glaze over at the idea of yet another post-apocalyptic zombie survival game with base building and survival elements, get mm. a load of these graphics. A lot of games on this list were delayed. Bro, it took like 50 bullets to kill that one fanatic, zombie. Push this one so they could switch engines from Unreal 4 to oh my Unreal God. 5. And it looks like that was a smart move because it's the second most wish-listed game on Steam after Hogwarts Legacy. Really? That's on PC with plans for new-gen console versions later on. Wo Long Fallen Dynasty is the latest project from Team Ninja, and it looks to continue the long tradition of kicking your ass repeatedly, which began with Ninja Gaiden and the Neo games, but this one's set in China's Three Kingdoms period, but you know. Okay, how are you supposed to hit that, bro? Twist. That is on all the stuff that isn't made by Nintendo. 
Allegedly, Skull and Bones is finally coming out, but I will believe it when I see it. This is Ubisoft's multiplayer pirate game, which supposedly began as an Assassin's Creed Black Flag spinoff, and at one point was apparently like I've Piranha never played a pirate bones, game in my then, life. It's taken the shape of something much more like Sea of Thieves, and it's been delayed about, well, my entire career. Anyway, that drops anchor on new gen and PC March 9th. Allegedly. Okay. To make up for the extremely long wait for Bayonetta 3, Bayonetta. Games is rewarding fans of the bespectacled Umber Witch with a brand new installment less than a year later. Bear in mind, it's a pretty big shift, ditching the realistic third-person action for a top-down adventure with a cuter storybook aesthetic, but it definitely looks more fun than waiting five years for a sequel. That is on Switch, March 17th. Still on March okay. 17th is Star Wars Jedi Survivor, the follow-up to Fallen Order. Yes, War, which is the return sir. Of the and I can't wait for this, bro. Will undoubtedly have some new tricks up his sleeve. Technical hiccups aside, Respawn knocked it out of the park with the first game, so hopefully this continues this streak that is on new-gen consoles and PC. What do yes, you Yes, sir. I can't wait well, for that. On March 24th, Resident Evil 4 Remake, probably. Between the recent hey, and entries the trailer. last two remakes, Capcom probably hasn't had the trust of fans like this since, well, probably RE4's original release, and a modern remake of one of the best, albeit most divisive games in the entire series, with a few modern adjustments, seems like it'll be a pretty good time. That's on both PlayStations, Xbox Series X, and PC. Oh my Crime god. Boss Rock Hay City is a brand new first-person shooter that came too, totally think, out of yeah. left field, and we don't know much about it other than it's got a star-studded cast, which is mostly Michaels and Danny's. Specifically, Rooker, Madsen, Glover, and Trejo. It also has Kim Basinger, Vanilla Ice, and Chuck Norris. What's Vanilla the Ice. Like? Great question. Back on PC, <laughs> March 28th, and consoles someday. Before there was Vanilla Bioshock, Ice. there was System Shock, and this is yet another classic that's getting a full modern remake. And if you're having deja vu, that might be because this got kickstarted way back in 2016. And sometime in March, you'll finally get to play it. That's on everything that doesn't say Nintendo on it. Dead okay. Island 2 has had a long and rocky development. And Dead I Island 2, is yes, finally sir. Rising from its grave. LA is infested with zombies and you gotta go kill them. What do you kill them with? All kinds of stuff, including stuff that's glued to other stuff uh, that you glued there on a crafting bench. That's coming out April 28th, once again, on everything but Switch. But hey, Switch owners are gonna be just fine because on May hey, 12th, Legend of Zelda, yes, Zelda sir. Tears of the Kingdom finally drops. Breath of the Wild was such a genre so that drops in April? game that the wait for a follow-up has felt like a lifetime, and that might be because this has been one of, if not the longest breaks between Zelda installments in the entire series history. So let's hope it lives up to everybody's sky-high expectations. It's been a very long wait for a new game from Rocksteady, the studio yes, that gave sir. us the Batman I can't wait to this comes out. It's set in the same universe, Suicide I love the trailer. Squad kills the Justice League looks to be a pretty huge departure. This time, players can get down with their bad selves as Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, King Shark, and or Deadshot. That's on new gen and PC. Street Fighter 6 looks to be maybe the biggest shift for the series bro, since so jump to 2.5D back in Street Fighter 4, but this is much more than just a visual leap. It's I'm adding so a character creator Street Fighter, and a whole bro. hub city for you to explore and hang out in and presumably do some street fighting in. But don't worry, as far as fighting goes, it's not reinventing the wheel. This game will make me rage, bro. Game Die Hard seems very positive. That's on PS4, PS5, oh Series God. X and S, and PC. Diablo 4 has been in the works for a very long time, but it sounds like it's going to be think? worth the wait. With a color palette that's far more in line with Diablo 2 than 3, it is a clear return to proper dark fantasy, and its gorgeous world is wide open for you to explore while slaying demons and hoarding loot. That's out on 6.6 for everything but Switch. Like many other games on this list, Final Fantasy 16 is a massive departure yes, from its immediate predecessor. This time, it's scrapping the futuristic elements and returning to good old-fashioned medieval fantasy. And if you're tired of open oh worlds, God, rest assured, bro. this looks to have a much more focused area-based approach to level design. But combat is still this going to be in real good, time. Bro. That one's exclusively so good, on PS5 bro. for the immediate future. Forza Motorsport gives Microsoft's flagship racing title a soft reboot for its first Forza? dedicated foray into exclusive territory. I played Forza like one time, and it was, it was This cool. will undoubtedly be a real showcase of what the Series S and X are capable of graphically, and those sexy anime ladies you plastered all over your tricked-out Subaru will look And I wonder if I could like play ever. Forza with like so a wheel. Or like a, That's on Series X and S and PC sometime in the spring. A whole like bunch of games have been like given the extremely like the broad release window of first half of the year, so here are some games you're going to be playing probably sooner or later. Hollow Knight received universal acclaim, including IGN staff I voting it the, the best Metroidvania of all time, despite an utter lack of Metroids and Vanias. A lot of people are dying to get their hands on Silk Song, which is the immediate follow-up that puts you in control of Hornet, the enemy turned ally from the first game, who has a totally unique move set. Fans okay. of Homeworld 2 have been waiting two decades for a sequel, and they won't have to wait that much longer. Homeworld 3 takes place even further in the future and will shake up the Deep Space RTS formula with the addition of terrain that'll allow for cover. It's still in space, mind you, but there's just a lot of shit floating around up there now. 
If you love the games that Arcane has put out, like Dishonored, Redfall, Prey, what is this? Loop, and you hate vampires, boy, do I have the game for you that you probably already knew about. Redfall will have you staking your claim in a New England town filled with bloodsuckers, and this time around it's co-op, so up to three friends can join in on the fun. Stalker 2, Wait, Heart what of was Turnier, that? is the long-awaited sequel to Stalker the 2007 post-apocalyptic yes, survival horror game based on the Tarkovsky film of the same name, based on the classic novel Roadside Picnic. This comes out December? has certainly not been a picnic, roadside, or otherwise. In addition to all the other hurdles of developing a AAA video game through the pandemic, Ukraine-based GSC World also had to put things on hold while their country was being bombed and invaded by Russian forces. Yeah. This is supposed to hit the new Xboxes and PC sometime in the first half of the year, but I think of all the games on this list, I don't think anybody's going to be mad if they need more time. Yeah, Starfield I, yeah. is shaping up to be Skyrim in space. And before you tell me that's a stupid reductive way of describing it, I'm quoting Todd Howard, so take that. Anyway, in space, no one can hear you dragon shout, but you can probably go collect some cheese wheels on the moon or on one of the hundreds of you other planets in this game. Bro, what's on going on? The new Xboxes and PC. Starfield. If you like deep never... space stuff, but Starfield sounds dauntingly expansive, well, there's also The Expanse, a Telltale series, which is a narrative adventure set in the a universe of the hit series. TV show, and that's on PC and consoles. Wait, Telltale. If you think narrative adventures are a novel idea. Well, oh, wait, I wait. I read to the trailer. I read to the trailer already. Wake Two, which sees the return of Remedy's author protagonist, but this time around promises to be a proper survival horror. If you're one of the many people who spent thousands of hours hunting and crafting and riding dinosaurs in Ark, you may have thought to yourself at some point, this game is great, but it needs Vin Diesel. Well, you weren't the only one because Vin Diesel felt the same way. And after Wasn't playing a shitload of the game first award, game, he's not only starring in the sequel, he's also involved with its development as Studio Wildcard's president of Creative Convergence, which means he's also executive producing an Ark animated series. Sure, really? why not? If you think okay. giant robots are f***ing awesome, Armored Core, correct. yeah, I saw this uh, trailer at the uh, series, Game Armored Awards. Core is back with its sixth long overdue installment, Fires of Rubicon. What took so long? Well, FromSoft was busy establishing a little genre called Soulsborne with a trilogy of Dark Souls games, Bloodborne, Sekiro, and of course, Elden Ring. There's absolutely no reason to expect Armored Core to be anything like those games, and according to the developers, it isn't really. But considering those games are what amassed FromSoft, its devoted following, I imagine those fans are being taken into consideration at least somewhat. That's coming okay. to everything. Another AC franchise getting at least one new entry this Assassin's year is Creed. Assassin's Creed. Oh, bro, this trailer was hard, bro. Might be relieved to hear he like 1B20, like, he, he, he was into crazy. into action RPG territory. Assassin's Creed Mirage is going to scale things back. Yeah, I've, I've seen this trailer before. the original before. game's design pillars of stealth, parkour, and assassinations. The setting? 9th century Baghdad. The first Hades was a smash hit in 2020. It's fast paced roguelike yeah, action. Trailer and too. Slick visuals earned bro, I've seen a lot of trailers, bro. We've list, seen a lot of as trailers. Well as nabbing IGN's Game of the Year award. While we're always happy to see super giant games go back to the drawing board to try something completely new and experimental, we're also thrilled that there's more Hades on the way, which will undoubtedly have plenty of surprises in store. Pinocchio fans, if such a thing actually exists, have had a pretty busy couple of years. Hot on the trail of Disney and Del Toro's feature film takes I've and that dishonest movable wooden oh boy comes Lies of P. This action RPG retells the original 19th this century fairy though, tale in the form of a fast-paced action RPG a la really Bloodborne, and yes, you'll be able to tell lies. Marvel's Spider-Man was one of the best-selling games on PS4, yes, so unsurprisingly, it's getting a follow-up, but the sequel will be exclusive to PS5. After seeing how much Insomniac Games was able to do with the new hardware and Ratchet and Clank rift apart, we are dying to see what new tricks our friendly neighborhood wall crawler has in store for us in the sequel. The Cops and Robbers co-op yes, shooter sir. Payday, Payday 2 3. gets a long-awaited sequel Let's a full go. decade after the last game released. This time around, players can expect larger scaled heist as developers have described the setting as, quote, a living enormous representation of New York City. Another series okay. getting a sequel after a decade of nothing, unless you count the mobile game, is Pikmin. We basically haven't seen anything from this game outside of a 30 second trailer, but we have a sneaking suspicion that it will involve some Pikmin. I don't know, what do you know about this game? They haven't shown us anything. A whole bunch of beloved horror movie licenses have found new life uh, in the Texas asymmetrical Chainsaw multiplayer Massacre. genre. Uh -oh. And joining the ranks of Friday the 13th, Predator, Evil Dead, and Killer Clouds from Outer Space is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Based squarely in the era of the 1974 slasher classic, the game will have one team playing as metal oh teens who have God. to, you know, not get murdered, and the other team will be playing as not just Leatherface, but his entire messed up family too. Considering how much Gears of War copied Warhammer Now this game right here, bro, this caught me off guard. And the this game was amazing, bro. Space Marine clearly understood the assignment. Now we're finally getting a sequel continuing the adventures of Ultramarines Captain Titus, who will eviscerate a sea of screeching Tyranids, and this one sounds pretty cool. And it finally, looks pretty cool, bro. Uh, for this list, not for all the games coming out, is The Wolf Among Us 2. 
The Wolf of Telltale Among Us. Is finally returning to the Fables Bro, shout out to Telltale, bro. Story. This new game picks because up I thought they were going to, like, uh, I thought they were going to, like, end totally everything game after Walking Dead, ago. but uh, turns out and they're still, there you have they're still it. kicking, That's bro. There's a whole bunch of games that are coming out in 2023, and it's not even all of them because a whole bunch of them we don't even know about quite yet. But True. I know a cool website you can keep an eye on if you like video games. It's called IGN.com. 2023 yes, is going to be a doozy. I'll see you around. It is going to be a doozy, bro. Bro, this Star Wars game, I cannot wait until Star Wars game come out, bro. That that game, that's I think that for me that's the most anticip uh, anticipated game right now. It's the Star Wars game. That that looks absolutely fire. It that and the Warhammer one, and the Warhammer game. But other than that, bro, honestly, I think the most anticipated game right now for me ever, right now is GTA. It's it's been far too long, bro. It's been what nine years, I think nine or ten years. And um, I, I cannot wait until GTA comes back, bro. Uh, GTA 6 comes back. I, and, and listen, I know I've seen a bunch of, you know, cool games in this trailer. But that's the game that's at the back of my head of, like at all times, bro. I just can't wait. When that trailer comes out, bro, I want everybody to spam me, bro. Spam, 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 spam me, bro. I will watch that trailer, bro. I will. I cannot wait till they pop out with a trailer. Because they trolled us like two years ago. With, with the with the GTA 5, with the GTA trailer, and I thought, oh snap, GTA 6 coming out. No, it was just a GTA 5 on a, uh, I think it was like GTA 5 on a PS5 trailer, or whatever. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and uh, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, yeah, you don't have to, but appreciate it. All right, see you guys later. Peace.